I started to make my dream game and posted about it in my last video. If you paid attention to that video, you might have noticed that I was able to make a lot of changes with the scene and I kind of said that I'll spill the beans on how I achieved that. So in today's video, we're diving into my secret ingredient. I'm one of those people who have a fantasy of building games from scratch. My ideal creation would be a game where every pixel and every bit has gone through my loving touch. And I think there will be some more people out there who thinks like me because who hasn't been reading about the story of Eric Baroni and how one person built such a masterpiece from art to programming and music to storytelling. I'm currently working on a game prototype and need to at least create something that remotely resembles the actual play experience. And to do that, I need at least two or three decent scenes. Each scene needs a lot of artwork. Not only the core objects, but even little background objects like fences, leaves, and these little grass thingies and rocks, stones, cracks, and stuff. I started to draw them, and pixel art is fun and all, but because I have a full-time job, I only have the weekends if I'm lucky, and maybe a couple of hours a day on the weekdays. Making artwork for one scene is going to take me a couple of months. Not joking, these things take time. I kept going on patiently with the pixel art, making assets one by one, convincing myself that this is a learning journey, just one step at a time. And after weeks and weeks of hard work, I finally put together my scene and it looked hideous. Let's face the reality, I'm not Eric Baroni, I'm a hobbyist and I have a full-time job and this is my first long-term game project that I'm already overscoping. I realized that I had to admit the fact that I cannot do this on my own. I had to come up with a solution so that I can finish this project within my lifetime. Currently the blocker for me was not the programming, design or anything else, it was the artwork. So I gave it a shot, the thing that I dreaded the most using game assets. This will break my consistent palette, make my game unoriginal, and it might make it look very tacky. But actually, I was so wrong about trying to do everything on my own. My scenes just looked better. Of course, I had to do some editing to make the assets blend in, but once I set up a workflow with the colors, it was all right. Building the scene was just faster, and honestly, it looked so much better. I wish I had done this earlier. I would have done that only if I wasn't so stubborn. But I cannot get this feeling off my back. I feel like I'm stealing. I paid for the assets and I have every right to use them in a commercial game, but it just didn't feel right in some way because I was heavily using them for the scene backgrounds. Then I started to think about the boundaries between asset flipping scams and just using game assets. Asset flipping is when a developer essentially buys pre-made assets and then reassembles them with minimal changes to create a so-called new game. To an extreme, they can just buy a starter kit on the Unity Asset Store and upload it straight away with a price tag. There is nothing wrong with it legally, but it's a scam when you give the players the wrong idea that will make them buy the game. Players might think that it's a legit game, but some of them are not even a game at all, it just looks like a game. So the answer to my question, am I a scammy asset flipper, is no. Because I believe that I'm adding value on top of these assets, and I can proudly call myself the main creator of the game. Using assets on less important parts of the game will help me focus on creating essential things such as creating characters. The fact that I thought I will make everything from scratch is actually kind of self-contradicting because even though I draw all my assets and compose all my music, I'm already using the Godot game engine. It's an amazing tool built by a whole community of countless people, so I'm already not making this game on my own. So should you use assets for your game? Of course. Buying art is fine. It supports the artists and it saves you time. Even large game studios buy assets. Maybe someday in the future, I might be able to make games without assets. But for now, I should have more realistic goals and try to get all the help I can. So my lesson learned is I should try to be less stubborn. I think I might have had a little bit of an ego problem. 
and I should know that I cannot build this game all on my own. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.